1. U.S. and U.K. launch joint attack on Houthi militants. On January 12, according to Bloomberg News, the British Royal Air Force tanker Voyager took off from the Akrotiri base in Cyprus and participated in the U.S.-led Red Sea Alliance operation, conducting airstrikes against Houthi armed targets in Yemen. Reports indicate that both the United States and the United Kingdom carried out airstrikes on over 60 Houthi armed targets in Yemen early that day, focusing on air force bases, airports, and military camps. This marks the first joint Western effort against the armed group since Iran-backed Houthis attacked merchant ships in the Red Sea. 2. Houthi forces conduct live-fire drill on Yemen border. According to Lian Hazaobao, a report from the Masira TV station controlled by the Houthi Armed Forces revealed that the Houthi Armed Forces conducted military exercises in Sada province adjacent to Saudi Arabia. The exercise involves the deployment of tanks, artillery, drones, and other weaponry, with live-fire drills aimed at targets bearing the Israeli flag. It is noted that the Houthi Armed Forces had conducted similar exercises in Sada province before the war with Saudi Arabia in 2015. The commander of the Houthi Armed Forces stated they were ready to participate in the battle against American and Zionist enemies. 3. U.S. Designates Houthis as Terrorist Organizations The U.S. State Department has officially designated the Houthi Armed Organization as a specially designated global terrorist organization, citing their unprecedented attacks on international ships in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden since November last year. These attacks, targeting both ships and troops safeguarding commercial shipping, post threats to seafarer safety, disrupt commerce, and interfere with navigation rights. The U.S. government's decision aims to hold the Houthis accountable for their terrorist activities. The designation will be reassessed if the Houthis cease attacks in the specified regions. 4. U.S. and U.K. launch another attack on Houthi armed forces. Comprehensive update from Washington, in a renewed effort. The United States and the United Kingdom have conducted another round of joint attacks on Houthi armed forces in Yemen. The targets included Houthi missile systems, launchers, air defense systems, radars, and underground weapons storage facilities. The attack, supported by Australia, Bahrain, Canada, and the Netherlands, aims to disrupt and weaken the Houthi armed forces' capacity to threaten global trade and the safety of innocent seafarers. 5. Houthi forces demand departure of U.S. and British U.N. employees from controlled areas. Local media reports from Yemen indicate that the Houthi armed forces have issued notices to various United Nations agencies in their controlled areas, stating that employees from the United States and Britain are not welcome and must leave within a month. Approximately 20 American and British citizens are currently working for the United Nations in regions under Houthi control. Qingqiao, bridging the business world and delivering information to you.